I welcome in the class of engineering mathematics. So today I will discuss the calculus and in calculus I will discuss about the limit of a function, continuity of a function, differentiability of a function and then I will discuss the L hospital rule and after that uh, I will discuss the mean value theorem and after that I will discuss the uh, concept of maxima and minima and then uh, I will discuss the integration and the application of definite integral to compute the surface area and volume of revolutions. So in the calculus uh, this topic will be covered uh, limit of a function, continuity of a function and defensibility of a function and then I will discuss the what is L hospital rule and after that uh, I will discuss the mean value theorem and in mean value theorem I will discuss the what is Rawls mean value theorem, Lagrange's mean value theorem and Cauchy's mean value theorem. And after that uh, I will discuss the what is Taylor series and what is Maclaurian series and concept of maxima minima and then I will discuss the integration and application of definite integral to evaluate surface area and volume of revolution. So today I will cover uh, the limit of a function, continuity of a function and differentiability of a function and so let us start what is set. So set is a well defined collection of objects and there are two types of set. Uh, the first one is discrete set and the second one is dense set. So in discrete set uh, we can say what the next element to an element in that set like natural number and in dense set uh, we cannot say that what the next element to an element in that set. So the such type of set is called dense set. Similarly, what is function? So a function from set A to set B is a relation from set A to set B uh, which satisfy uh, these points. The first point is every element in the set A must be associated, associated. And the second one is it should be associated with a unique element in the set B. So here uh, I have uh, taken two examples. Let us this, this is the first example I have taken and this is the second example I have uh, taken. So in first example, in set A, uh, the three elements that is 1, 2, 3 and in set B, A, B, C. And we can say that 1 is associated with A and B, 2 is associated with C, but 3 is not associated with any one of the element of set B. So this is not the function because uh, for the function, uh, the first condition, every element in the set A must be associated. So this is not the function. In the second example, we can see that the element uh, 1 uh, in the set A is associated with A and 2 is also associated with element of set B. Uh, similarly, the element uh, uh, in the set A that is 3 is associate, associated with C. So every element uh, in the set A must be associated. So it is a type of function. For the limit of a function, so if, uh, if, if fx is a function from a dense set A to another dense set B, then fx is said to be have a limit L if as x tends to a limit x tends to a fx is equal to L. Or we can see that uh, the limit x tends to A plus fx, it should be equal to the limit uh, x tends to A minus fx and equal to L. So this condition must be satisfied for a limit of a function and in addition to this if the value of limit x tends to a plus fx uh, is equal to limit x tends to a minus fx and that is equal to the fa. So such type of uh, limit uh, is, is called uh, the continuity of a function. So let us take an example if fx is equal to 2x plus 3 or uh, 4 the condition when x is greater than or equal to 2 and x plus 9 for x less than or equal to 2. So whether it is a, a limit of a function or not. So function function is exist or not. So let, let us check. So we can check limit x tends to 2 plus fx. So we can write limit x tends to 2 plus and x greater than or equal to 2 so the function is 2x plus 3 so it will be 2 to the 4 plus 3 7 similarly limit x tends to 2 minus fx we can write limit x tends to 2 minus 
x plus 9 so it will be 11 so here we can see that limit x tends to 2 plus fx is not equal to limit x tends to 2 minus fx so function does not exist so function does not exist function exists once the the left hand uh, uh, right hand neighborhood or left hand neighborhood of 2 should be equal then the function will exist what is continuity of a function so a function fx is said to be continuous at x is equal to a if limit x tends to a fx is equal to f a or we can see that the uh, say, uh, the condition for a continuity of a function so if i write the condition so the limit x tends to a plus fx is equal to limit x tends to a minus fx and it should be equal to the f a if this condition is exist then our function is continuous otherwise it is not continuous so i have taken one example let fx is equal to 2x plus 3 for x greater than equal to 2 and when the value is when x is less than 2 so the function is x plus 5 and uh, exactly x is equal to 2 so the uh, the value of fx is 15 so whether this function we have to check whether this function is continuous or not so same thing we have to apply so for, for the uh, uh, what is the condition for the continuity so the first uh, we have to check the limit so here if i this is the 2 so just neighborhood of the left hand portion and right hand portion so if i check the value so limit x tends to 2 minus fx is equal to limit x tends to 2 minus so when x is less than 2 so the function is x plus 5 so it will be 2 plus 5 7 similarly limit x tends to 2 plus fx so just right hand side of the 2 or x greater than 2 so the function is 2x plus 3 so we can write limit x tends to 2 plus 2x plus 3 so it will be 7 but so the function is exist because the just right hand portion and left hand portion the value is limit value limiting value is same but the fa value at x is equal to 2 is 15 so that is not equal to the 7 so the function is exist but it is not continuous so we can here we can write limit x tends to 2 minus fx is equal to limit x tends to plus fx is not equal to f a so the function is uh, func function is exist but it is not continuous so we can write function is exist but not continuous Similarly, for the differentiability of a function, so a continuous function fx is said to be differentiable at x is equal to a. If the limit value, limit x tends to a, fx minus fa divided by x minus a exists. And the left hand derivative should be equal to the right hand derivative, then it is called differentiable. In general, the derivative of fx is given by f dash s is equal to limit uh, delta x tends to 0 f x plus delta x minus f x divided by delta x so for the different uh, condition for the differentiability we can write left hand derivative is equal to the right hand derivative then it is function function is differentiable So let us take the example fx is equal to x square. So we have to check whether this function is differentiable or not. So firstly we have to find the uh, f dash at x is equal to. So f dash a is equal to 
limit extends to a fx minus fa divided by x minus a so we can write limit extends to a fa fx is x square minus a square divided by x minus a so it will be limit extends to a x plus a so the value is 2a means the value of fx is exist so that the function is differentiable or here we can also see with the help of graph so if i draw the graph y is equal to x square so we can say that the function is uh, continuous as well as differentiable for the entire minus infinity to plus infinity it is continuous to continuous and differentiable so if i So if I write this, if this is the real function, so this will be the limiting, limiting function. So this will be the continuous and this will be the differentiable, differentiable function. So these are the various uh, <coughs> differentiation of the uh, like uh, differentiation of x square is 2x x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1 uh, 1 by x so the differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square uh, similarly ln x or log x to the base e the differentiation is 1 by x similarly the differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x and the differentiation of a to the power x is a to the power x log a to the base 10 and similarly the differentiation of root x is 1 by 2, x, uh, 2 root x and sin x differentiation of sin x is cos x and cos x uh, differentiation of cos x is minus sin x and similarly the differentiation of tan x is sec square x and cot x, cot x uh, the differentiation of cot x is minus cos sec square x and similarly the sec x cos x x and sin inverse x or cos inverse x so the differentiation is same 1 by 1 minus x square similarly the uh, dy by dx for the tan inverse x or cot inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square similarly if i have to derive the uh, the function that is in the form of u into b so we can write u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx or u into v dash plus v into u dash Similarly, uh, the function in u by v form and we have to find the derivative of this u by v form. So, we can write uh, v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx divided by v square. So, now I am going to discuss the slope of a line. So, uh, any line uh, that is given. So, the uh, tan of an angle made by the line with the positive direction of x uh, is called slope of that line. Let us assume this is our line and two points have taken that is the point A and point B and the coordinate of these two points that is x1, y1 and x2, y2. So we can compute the slope that is tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 or if any function is given so just uh, dy by dx at that point is uh, will give the slope of that function. So dy by dx is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 or the slope of tangent for the curve y is equal to fx at the point x1 y1 is given by slope of tangent that is dy by dx at that point x1 y1 or f dash x1. So equation of line can be written as equation of line when point 
एंड स्लोप इज गिवेन सो वी कैन राइट वाई इज इक्वल टू we can write y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so it, this will be the equation of line when our slope m is given and one point is given so here the point x1 y1 and slope is m second condition that is when two point coordinate that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 are known then we can write the equation of line that is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 so this is the equation of line third is when slope m and intercept c is known so we can write y is equal to mx plus c similarly the fourth condition that is an intercept form x intercept and y intercept is given x intercept and y intercept is given so we can write x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 general form of general form of a line we can write ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so this is the general form of a line so general form of a straight line uh, we have seen that is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so if i take a simple <coughs> note that is uh, if i take a function that is y is equal to mod x and we have to check whether this is the uh, differentiable or not differentiable at any point or whether it is continuous or not so for the continuous uh, we have the condition that is for continuous it will be limit extends to 0 minus fx is equal to limit so this function can be written as it will be x when x is greater than equal to 0 and minus x when x is less than 0 so it will be minus x so the value is 0 and similarly limit x tends to 0 plus fx is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus x it is 0 and when uh, x is equal to 0 uh, so y is equal to also 0 so this function is continuous function is function is continuous now we have to check whether it is uh, differentiable or not so left hand derivative if i compute left hand derivative so limit extends to 0 minus fx minus f 0 divided by x minus 0 
so it will be fx is minus x so minus x minus f0 is 0 divided by x so it will be minus 1 and similarly limit extends to right hand derivative right hand derivative if i compute so fx minus f0 divided by x minus 0 so it will be x minus 0 divided by x so it will be 1 so left hand derivative is not equal to right hand derivative so function is not differentiable here i i will write left hand derivative is not equal to right hand derivative so function is not differentiable at x is equal to 0 if i draw the graph of this y is equal to mod x so this is the graph of y is equal to mod x so it is continuous for minus infinity to plus infinity but not differentiable at this point when x is equal to 0. Any function which is having a sharp turning in its graph at a point then the derivative of the function does not exist at that point. Here we can see that fx is equal to x minus 2 mod of x minus 2. So if I draw the graph of this mod x minus 2 so this will be the graph of mod x minus 2. So it is continuous for entire minus infinity to infinity but not differentiable at x is equal to 2. The third point that is every polynomial function in x is differentiable throughout the real line. Since the graph of a polynomial function is always a smooth curve. So every polynomial function is differentiable as well as continuous. So let us take the uh, few problems. The equation of tangent to the curve root x plus root y is equal to 5 at the point 940 is options are x plus 2y is equal to 17, x plus y is equal to 13, 2x plus y is equal to 22 or 2x plus 3y is equal to 30. So firstly uh, we have to find the slope of tangent. So root x plus root y is equal to 5. So if I differentiate with respect to x, so it will be 1 by 2 root x plus 1 by 2 root y into dy by dx is equal to 0. So if I equate 1 by 2 root x is equal to minus 1 by 2 root y dy by dx. So if I simplify so dy by dx is equal to minus root under y by x. So if I compute the slope of tangent at point at a given point. So slope of tangent that is dy by dx at point. So the point is given 9 4. So 9, 4 is equal to minus square root of y is 4 and x is 9. So it will be minus 2 by 3. So equation of equation of tangent. So this is the one point is given and slope is given. So y minus y1 is equal to y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 is 4 is equal to minus 2 by 3 x minus 9 so it will be 3y minus 12 is equal to minus 2x plus 18 so it, if i simplify so 2x plus 3y is equal to 30 so 2x plus 3y is 30 d option is correct so the second question that is the the equation of normal to the curve y is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 6 at 1 1 is. So the equation is given y is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 6. 
so dy by dx if i compute so it will be 6x plus 4 so dy by dx at point 11 is equal to 10 so the slope of tangent is 10 slope of tangent is equal to 10 so the slope of normal slope of normal is equal to minus 1 by 10 because it will be uh, product will be minus 1 so the equation of normal can be computed so equation of normal y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 is 1 because point is 1 1 is equal to slope is minus 1 by 10 into x minus 1 so it will be 10 y minus 10 is equal to minus x plus 1 so it will be x plus 10 y is equal to 11 x plus 10 y is equal to 11 c option is correct so this is the uh, equation of normal